You know, it's really hard to believe that 15 years have passed since Tracy has had her cochlear implant. When Tracy was three years old, uh, when she had meningitis and she got out of the hospital, uh, and then we got the bad news that she was deaf, and we just didn't know what to do. And my first thoughts were that I'm gonna have a deaf child and I'm gonna have to take care of her the rest of my life. I'm gonna have to be her guardian the rest of my life. And uh, it probably was the lowest, lowest point in my life. When I became deaf, a part of me died away because I couldn't hear anymore. I couldn't even utter a sound. And I could hear all the beautiful stuff that I love, like the music and the leaves rustling and the cast meows and the pearls. They were like my most favorite sound. And, and I was pretty depressed because of that. She couldn't communicate the way she knew. And so it was easier for her to go into her bedroom and she became very sad. Uh, the thought about it, Tracy being the first child to have the implant didn't even enter my mind. What entered my mind was, mm -hmm. yes, there is maybe something better than just being deaf. Being the first, it was real frightening. And she was, of course, a small toddler. And uh, I figured, well, what did she have to lose? She's going to be deaf the rest of her life anyway. And this might help her. You know, I, I remember that day, uh, I believe it was in June when Tracy was uh, hooked up for the first time. And I can remember when she got that first tone and the excitement. <laughs> when I look at the film and I look at myself getting so misguided and everything, it was like, I still get goosebumps from looking at it, you know, from watching me. <laughs> she seems to be here now. <gasps> yellow, yellow. And I still feel the same thing that I had when I was a kid. Well, when Tracy was three years old, you know, I had a deaf daughter. You know, today she's 18 years old and I have a daughter. It's been a long time since I've thought of that my daughter was deaf. It's been a long time. Being the first child to ever get the cochlear implant is like a great honor for me because um, I represent all the children in the world who have it. Being a senior at Chafee High, Tracy's really done a lot this year. 3.5 and above. Yeah. yeah. That so. was a great place. On the yearbook staff, I go out and interview people. It's like 4.4. 4. That's, That's good. good. <laughs> and I take pictures and I put layouts here and I type up and I talk to different people and that's what helped me a lot. It helped me become more confident in myself. Okay. Um, I'll keep asking them so that I get them. Tracy has very good grades. Uh, she has a, I think her grain point average is 3.5 this year. Um, all A's and a C. And we're very proud of the fact that she got a scholarship to Gallaudet. I'm going to be um, a psychologist for the deaf in the future, and I thought Gallaudet would be the best place to go to. What are you studying right now? Right now, we're studying the civil rights. Okay, yeah. do you want to look it up in the book? Yeah. If I wrote it down today, uh, as to where Tracy will be 10 years from now, I'd probably fall far short. I, I don't think there's any, any cap on to what Tracy's capable of doing or what she will be someday. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Uh, I think the future is unlimited for Tracy. Cheers. Cheers. When Tracy goes to college next year, I, I feel I'll be losing my best friend. Um, I feel very fortunate to have such a close mother-daughter relationship with her, but um, she won't be right here for me to hug. I love you, honey. I love you, too. <laughs> I'll miss that. I'm going to miss you when you go to college. I know. I'm going to miss you, too. I would like to thank the house you're in stupor, pushing me hard for giving me my most incredible 15 years of my life, because without them, I don't think that I will be successful as I am now, and all their support and everything, I loved it. I've loved every minute of it. <laughs>